Hello and welcome back to What Culture Gaming. My name is Rach, joined by Rich. Was I meant to introduce myself there? I thought. Yes, I mean, you know who you are, right? I thought you were. Oh, never mind. <laughs> something very exciting last night and that was the Nintendo Direct. I mean, there wasn't, well, there wasn't anything that totally blew your socks off, was there? I think there was. Well. I think there was for you as well. I mean, I mean, there wasn't any sort of big, new, massive, we didn't get much on an Animal Crossing, we didn't get anything on new Pokemon, so there was a few things we were missing. It was all very, sort of, very specific things for specific people. Yes, but. exactly. But, 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 what was your biggest takeaway? I mean, can you guess? <laughs> I mean, I had I had people tweeting me, I had people on Discord saying, oh my god, look at this, yeah. Uh, Tetris released a Battle Royale game late yesterday. Yes, you did just a hear him say Battle that. Battle Royale Tetris game, <laughs> which is the most ridiculous thing. It sounds ridiculous in theory, but in practice, oh my goodness. <laughs> so you've played it, I haven't played it yet. So I've played it's, it. It's actually free if you have the Nintendo Online Pass. You can go on the store and download it for free, which is kind of cool, so I'm going to play it at lunch, but how is it? It's actually incredible. <laughs> like, yeah, it sounds really dumb. When it was first announced, it was kind of like, what? The I was, I just laughed for joy because I was just like, this is, this is a battle royale that I can get behind. Well, exactly. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, it sounds really stupid, and then you play it, and it is, it, it has that intensity yeah. of a battle royale because you can see everything that's happening on screen. Yes. You can see all the other ninety-eight games. Is that not a bit sort of busy? Like, no, because it's all, because it's all very small, and you can't yeah. really tell what's happening on each individual screen. You can only see the lines being sent between people so you can see the movement of people battling okay. as it were and as you get further and further through the game it says look 50 people left 20 people left oh. 10 people left <laughs> and the music changes as and when you get closer dee, 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 so dee, 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 yeah it starts off like that <laughs> so and good. then it gets fat that so the actual game gets faster the music changes as it gets closer and closer to one and it still has that like heart pumping <laughs> like battle royale <laughs> feel to it and it's ridiculous and it's incredible so good and it's free if you've hey! got a switch and yeah, yeah no, as definitely. you said it's a battle royale you can get behind and that's the thing that i took away from this is like it's actually a battle royale game that people would kind of want to play because it's not shooting because i know that you don't really play other than things like splatoon I mean, I, yeah you're like yeah about shooting games i just don't bar, like people killing me I just, I just but get... like with oh, this yeah. <laughs> it is a it's a battle royale game anyone can play and it's awesome. It's a shame it's only on Switch. Yeah, I mean, it um, would be good on PC. I feel but... like they could, I feel like they maybe will release it for the things as well, because it is a free to play Battle Royale game. If it's successful enough, who knows? I think it might be, because the knows? fact that I downloaded it as soon as it came out and I got matched into a game of 100 like that. Yeah, no, that's so awesome. So it's like, yeah. I think we're okay on that front. But that was my big takeaway, right? <laughs> Can we talk about my big takeaway? Yes. Oh my goodness. So I'm a, I'm a very emotional person, Rich. I, I, I cried at How to Train Your Dragon <laughs> uh, 3 last weekend. That was very good. But I balled my eyes out when we saw Link on that boat. Oh my god, Link's Awakening is getting a remake and it looks all cute and lovely. It actually looks really like a Link Between Worlds meets flipping, I don't know, Animal Crossing. It's so, so yeah. cute. That's actually 26 years old, that game. 26? And it's getting remade. Yeah, it's, it's actually very beloved. A lot of people will say, oh, it's the best Zelda after mm. A Link to the Past or whatever. I disagree. I mean, Majora's Mask is my baby. <laughs> but Link's Awakening, one of the first games I ever got on my Game Boy. And I'm uh, really, really excited to play that on the Switch. That was a really nice surprise. Like, I did not see that coming. Uh, I maybe thought they were going to tease a new... Zelda, because we've been sort yeah. of wondering if there's a new Zelda coming. There are a lot of musings yeah. about there being a new Zelda, and as soon as it came up with the the sort of the Breath of the Wild, very like weathered sort of logo that they've been using, it was like, oh, this is something interesting. Yeah, and then obviously yeah. it said Link's Awakening, and then yeah. it showed off the actual 3D gameplay. And again, kind of similar to, it kind of looks like how they did with uh, with Pokemon Let's Go. Yes. Like, it looks as if they're going to change, maybe they'll change some bits and pieces mechanically, but in the grand scheme of things, it will be the same kind yeah. of game. It'll like, I feel like what those of us who've played the original Pokemon games who played Let's Go and thought, okay, this is different, but it still feels very much the same. Exactly. That's what you're going to get from, yeah. from no, uh, totally. Link's Awakening. I, I kind of hope they don't change too much. Like, graphic, graphic overhaul I can take. Link mm -hmm. looks adorable. He's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Uh, graphic overhaul I can take, but it looks like it plays exactly the same. We saw him doing the like the Master Sword sort of slashes at yeah. some at some skulltulas, so that was pretty. So that good. says 2019. Yes. There's no specifics as to when that's coming no, out. No, no, no. Yeah. So sometime this year would be good. Before Christmas would be lovely. Um, but I guess we'll hear more soon about Zelda. Maybe even get a new Zelda announced. You know, for for like a like a main. Yeah, this is probably like a stopgap because I, I don't know. I don't know the Zelda series that well, but it looks as if they do a lot of like stopgap games. Like they yes. did lots of 3DS games, lots yep. of remasters on 3DS. 
yeah. before they did Breath of the Wild. So maybe this is our, this is your stopgap Zelda uh, before the <laughs> next one. This will keep me going until until 2021. Else, let's yeah. Um, another. Well, I guess the whole reason for the direct was to show off the new Fire Emblem Three Houses. It looks good. It looks good. I was just saying to Rich before uh, we started recording there. A JRPG in general is kind of wasted on me because yeah, <laughs> they're they're a huge investment yeah. of time. There's so much to them. But for for people who are into these type of games, there was a lot of JRPGs. Yeah, events. there was that whole middle um, chunk of of Nintendo yeah, Switch yeah. headlines that were yeah. all just JRPGs. Yeah, Fire Emblem does look really good. It looks very intricate. It looks uh, like it has sort of persona levels of uh, get to know your peeps and then send them out into battle for them to yeah. possibly die. Um, <laughs> but yeah, well, speaking of persona, a bit gutted we didn't get persona on the Switch. I was really, yeah. really thought we were going to get that. Yeah, there were a lot um, of musings going around about that, especially yeah, when they announced yeah. the direct and people thought we were going to get persona because it did say, I've read somewhere that it was like, oh, this is a, a potentially age restricted. Uh, direct, was or there was it? like something okay. like there might be some more like. I didn't read that. I wonder if things. it was maybe because there was a game they announced uh, shortly before Zelda, and it was um, oh god, I've, I've forgotten what it's called. Actually, admittedly, uh, Mortal Kombat 11 was shown. That might oh, have been Mortal why. Mortal Kombat is going to be on Mortal the Kombat's Switch. Mortal Kombat is going to be on the Switch. And Dead by Daylight. Yeah, that was it. As soon as they as soon as they revealed Tetris, they went on revealed Dead by Daylight, and, and you were there uh, going, oh I my was, god, Rich is having an aneurysm right I now. I was like Dead by Daylight, and it looks like ass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, Dead by Daylight was free on PlayStation Plus late last year, and it's it's a fantastic game. But as somebody who plays it on PC, the console ports are not good, it's and that's good not though, and that's not gets... being PC elitists. <laughs> the, the the console ports of the game are not very good. It gets more kids playing the game who I can kill and camp. And yeah, like, I mean, yeah. DVD is great fun, but the uh, even the gameplay, kind of like how um, when they showed City Skylines last oh, year, we just and it know looked it's not awful. Be, yeah. Like this doesn't look very good, but it's really cool. They're releasing DVD on the Switch. But the uh, one of the other big takeaways... <laughs> I was gonna, Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah, what? Assassin's Creed um, 3. I said it to you in this morning, I said they're, making, they're doing Assassin's Creed 3, and he's like, why 3? Like, why that yeah. one specifically? Why didn't they do like the Ezio trilogy or whatever it was and do that on the Switch instead? The other big one that opened the Direct... Oh my god, how did we forget? Super Mario Maker 2. That was a nice Which surprise. is really exciting. Was, like. I, I didn't have a Wii U. You did have a Wii U. I you did. Do have I a Wii loved U. Mario Maker on the Wii U. It was a nice. It was a game I didn't expect to want to buy. Got yeah. to try a demo of it uh, at work and just was like, this is incredible. It was very constrained though. You could only really have I think it was two styles of Mario. You could have him like NES Mario, or you could have him like Super New Super Mario Brothers Mario kind of. But they've updated, haven't they? You can get um, loads yeah, of so different versions Yeah, so it looks like you can now. you can have loads of different generations of Mario mm -hmm. and um, just include more things in your crazy levels that I'll never be able to beat. Yeah. But yeah, as someone who didn't play. It, like it's really, I've always wanted uh, Mario Maker because I don't have a, a Wii U, I don't have a 3DS because mm. they've released it for both of them. They did, yeah. Uh, and then they're like, hey, here's, when it opened, it shows uh, Mario trying to slide down, uh, the, or it's down a hill with loads of spinies. And I thought, I okay, like... this is either one of two <laughs> things. This is either going to be Mario Maker a port, because uh, there's always the assumption that it's going to be a that's port. That's what I thought it would be. Uh, and then, or yeah. it would have been SNES games on the Nintendo Switch Online, uh, which is another thing that's been rumoured but was not touched upon in this direct. Yes. Uh, and when they were like, hey, it's Super Mario Maker, and then it's two, and everything's changed, it's all like uh, the, the flywheels and stuff to choose various items rather than using the touch screens. Also, they've had to come up with a whole new uh, means of Because there's so many things that you can yeah, put in. They've, yeah, they've added in like the Cat Mario suit from oh my God, 3D the best. World, Land 3D World or something. But yeah, anyway, we're Super getting... Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting Mario <laughs> Maker on the Switch, which a lot of people have been excited yeah. for. Because I, I got new Super Mario Brothers U on the Switch, and it's fine. That came out, yeah, that came out recently. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, I'd like the idea to be able to have loads of levels and making levels as well, which would be really good fun. Exciting for somebody who's not played Mario Maker. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. That was really cool, yeah. Another thing was uh, Yoshi's Crafted World got a bit yeah. more gameplay. Oh, we've got a demo for that. There's a demo for that on the store now at That's the minute as well. Actually. So I'm going to get that and have a go with that. But, um, and you can I... dress him up in little cardboard oh, things. Oh, little costumes, He's there running about in his little Labo piano. Oh, it's so cute. Um, no, that was really cute. I, I had Yoshi's Woolly World on the Wii U, and it yeah. was very good. It was a bit easy, so I sort of lost interest in it. And I wonder if Crafted World is going to be more of the same. Like, it's going to be really, really cute, but maybe not for someone like me who maybe yeah. wants a challenge. Yeah. But um, hey, it does look cute. We had uh, Super Smash Bros. Update version 3 <laughs> and got <laughs> nothing on it. <laughs> New stuff is coming, but we're but not, not telling you what. <laughs> uh, who, is, the deal, is the DLC character from Persona? Is that Yeah, what, so Joker is, is from Persona yeah, 5. Yeah, I thought he was. Yeah, so that's why a lot of us thought 
thought we might have been getting Persona 5 on the Switch because I haven't played it yet and I would yeah. really quite like to play it. Because it showed that um, footage of him and then just went, and that's it for Smash. It's yeah, like, but I, oh, I guess okay. it's them just letting us know like stuff is coming, but yeah. we can't tell you what yet. It's because they're getting the licenses to have Sora from Kingdom Hearts in Smash and they're Ooh. waiting on that coming through. Most people are musing it's going to be Steve from Minecraft. Yeah, oh no, that would be... Uh, Actually, be kind of fun. That'd be, be cute. I mean, look He's at silly. Piranha Plant. Like, that's my new favorite character in Smash. And Hopping around works, in his little pot. Hopping around in his little pot. And the, the, one of the other things that I actually took from the direct was uh, there being a free DLC for Captain Toad. Because okay. Captain Toad is lovely. It's yeah. really great to play in co-op, and now they've added in a co-op mode where you can actually play with two Toads rather mm. than have one person playing the camera and one person playing oh, as Toad. Because oh if God. you've done that, it is... Hell, it's like Camera it's anarchy. like watching somebody play Portal, basically, diff, like uh. infuriating. So the fact they're adding that in for free and the whole new DLC as well, it's kind of cool. Like for a port of the game and still making DLC for it, yeah, totally. it's great. Take note, Nintendo, what you've done with Captain Toad. Do it for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I'll love you forever. What you mean, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Captain Toad? No, just more DLC for Mario oh, Kart 8. Oh, I see. More, well, yeah. Well, I mean, why, why haven't they done that? To be honest, there's lots of musings going around. That they're going to do that eventually, uh -huh. but that will be fun. Uh-huh. Uh, there was a new Sim Sim game which looked kind of cute. There was a new... Very um, strange, like, ooh, like a, a big spot at the a big spot at the direct, a Sum Sum game. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay. Uh, Dragon Quest, if you're into Dragon Quest, yes. there was a new Dragon Quest Builders game which looks adorable. And a new, uh, well, Dragon Quest Eleven S, which has been on console for a year now, but it's coming to Switch now, apparently. I didn't realize um, it wasn't on Switch. I just assumed uh, it was. Yeah, it was on PS4. Oh, uh, um, okay. So now it's coming to Switch. Sorry, I realized... But it's, play, it's like Dragon Quest, 11, Dragon Quest Eleven. Like super duper edition S. S. It's like yeah. yeah, it's proper Nintendo naming conventions. Yeah, yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> new new 3DS, 2DS, new. The yeah, new. exactly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, there was a couple other things. Obviously, we've got a little bit more on Marvel Ultimate Alliance. There's some Final Fantasies coming. More fa Here, take all of the Final Fantasies! Final Fantasy IX is out um, now for the Switch. IX is out now. I've heard it's 17 Great British Sterling, which mm. was interesting. It's a bit expensive, I well, think. Well, that's the Switch tax for you. Apparently, it's very good. Um, and Seven finally got announced that it's going to be... It's, it's definitely coming as well, which and is sort of... nothing on Resident Evil 4. Nothing on the Resident Evil games, were you, which were we're you expecting Resi for. I no. Apparently, they've confirmed they're really they're doing the Resident Resident Evil games for the Switch. But yeah. I think with a lot, when they said when they had the big thing on the last direct about how Final Fantasy is coming, like we thought maybe we'd get the same for Resident Evil Resident Evil after the hype of Resident Evil Two. But I don't oh, know. there we go. Um, so, what were you most excited from, from from the Nintendo Direct, and what were you hoping to see that didn't actually get shown? I mean, I was really hoping for a Pokemon teaser. Yeah, personally. Pokemon would have been nice. But hey, but... you know, it's okay. There's always next time. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and do lovely things like that. I have been Rach. I have been Rich. And... <laughs> I remembered this time. Rach and Rich. Uh, we've been One Culture Gaming, and you have been awesome. And we'll see you again soon. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>